Hello, everybody. Welcome to Weirdos of Home. Another episode of Weirdos of Home. We're back. We're pumping them We're out. back with some solid, solid guests. Uh, nah. yeah, we have another one, a three-peat, if you will. Uh, from Love and Death? Yeah. Uh, uh, we yeah, have Matt Gaston, I'm on Rob week. Huey, and who do we have today? Brian Colson. My God, this man. I mean, look, could you be a cooler actor? Look at that view. I know. <laughs> not, <laughs> since, not since Mark McKinnon of Showtime's <laughs> The Circus was... In like the beautiful Blue Mountains. Joining us from the Berkshires tonight, <laughs> yeah, is yeah. Ryan Colson. Look, look, look at the look at the sunset. <laughs> you know, I know I got the sunset behind. Yeah, just I get this. Like I'm before we started, like, wait a minute, I want to change my background. I was like, okay, get to your guest bedroom, and then he, yeah. he gets on here and he's all, yeah, oh, man, what's going on? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I originally got up in a tree to do it. I figured I had to be interesting to follow up all the celebrities, but uh, you, you, yeah, I don't think no. I could do that for a while. So. Very avant garde. I <laughs> gonna have to have you back in the tree at some point. I yes, so. maybe when uh, Brian, are you a Game of Thrones fan? I, you know, I've only seen the first three episodes. Well, I, I don't watch any of it, but what I was gonna say yeah. is if you're willing to get into the spinoff, Tara would love to interview you in that tree about it. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. <laughs> what, what was it? $25 million for the pilot? I don't know. That was the one that got canceled. There were two yeah. Game of Thrones. I love shitting on Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. I, I don't, I haven't seen it. I'm, yeah, barely seen it. So I'm one of the rare birds. He's so no comic correct sometimes. He's so Paul Zongus sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, Brian, Paul thank you for coming on tonight. It's good to have you. Thank um, you. Happy to I be know. here. Sam, you are a new character really? in Sam's uh, life right now. He oh. has been talking about mm -hmm. you so much around here. New season breakout, 2022, yeah. guys. So I cannot well, wait yes. to learn more about you. So Brian started as a as a ranger on Walker. Oh, man. He was like the computer guys, the way they always made it play. Like he'd be back at like mm -hmm. the bank of computers. And, uh, then he got, yeah. he, he got a leading role. Well, you tell him, you got a leading role in a, in a really great play. Yes. Yeah. So I got a leading role in a really great play. And so that's what I was working on during the Walker stuff. And then oh, you get death. demoted, right? That's why they made you a, a down and out ranger. Yes, because well, I had to keep the mustache, but that was for love and death. And for another show, which we'll get into that later. But okay, uh, absolutely. So, yeah, but I had to get a mustache for the love and death thing. It was like right on set. They were like, can you shave the rest of your face? And it's like, yeah, OK. So like, you're going to have to keep that, by the way. It's like, oh, great. OK, so do that. Had a lot of fun. Sam was still on uh, Walker and everything. And I was hey, telling him I was had bragging to me on about love and death every day. Oh, oh. yeah. Oh, it was just so this it, is kind of how the production was is. so much more. Yeah, I, I had nothing. I had no idea about Love and Death or the project until Brian would be sitting there and be like, I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you. <laughs> it's the, the real deal. It's it's value cool. higher. Well, yeah, well, it's like my my first day. I was busing the table of Elizabeth Olsen and Jesse Plemons. And it's like, oh, oh my God, wow. it's like it's Elizabeth Olsen like, was like a foot away from me. And so, yeah, like it's like, OK, you got to get on this thing. Lo and behold, he gets on there. And what does he get? He gets to be one of the main lawyer guys as soon as he gets there. It's like, I'm telling you, man. Yeah. Oh, oh dumbass pulled it out again. Yeah. It was Stand a lot of fun. Yep. <laughs> uh, someone so, told me to send my stuff here. Uh, what was funny is uh, uh, he's telling me all these hype stories. And then he gets to a place where he's demoted. So there was this minute on Walker like you kind of like because you're in costume and, you, and you're kind of trying to get into your mindset you're trying to believe jared Patton like he can act and uh and so they say uh they make him well you got your mustache you can't be a ranger and by the way he looks like the coolest right. undercover ranger there could be with his Which, serpico right. denim me. yeah dirt denim jacket everything yeah. it looked dope <laughs> it perplexes me because i feel like i a texas ranger would have a mustache right Sell it, baby. That's right. You would think so, yeah. Hey, hey, only one guy gets facial hair. That's the Hollywood elite coming over here and trying to tell us. Yeah. Guys, that's your CW, <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, they had the one cool. guy uh, that had the mustache who was from Boston, of all places, you know, playing the Texas Ranger. That old man? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, the old man who brought, he brought the, there, there's a PA named Thor. Could not be, yes. uh, there could not be a better <laughs> PA in the world. I mean, on top of shit. Uh, love is fashion. But he, but the old man found out his name was Thor, and he went out to like uh, Walmart and bought a kid's Thor hammer, and and presented it to him. <laughs> so all day that we were on set on this carnival episode, 
the old man's going, hey, where's the hammer? I yeah, you. where's your hammer, Thor? And Thor's like, yeah. I'm, okay, we're going to go back to one. He's like working. Where's your hammer, Thor? Yeah. yeah. God, what a thoughtful and intrusive gift. <laughs> Someone you barely know. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. That was very weird. Uh, Thor wrapped us for the last day on a walk of the season. Oh, great guy. Thor. Thor's the Thor. Yeah, great man. guy. Great guy. Uh, what, so what did you take away from uh, your experience with CW this year? Well, it was fun. Um, it looked great. I was sitting at the desk. Yeah, it was a lot of sitting at that desk. But it was fun. I mean, it, it, it was fun. Got to meet a lot of people. Met you there. You know. Um, it was a great but, school year. I got to say, yeah, it was. Oh, I, I missed the school year because I was having to do the play and everything. So there's just no flexibility there. Yeah, you graduated early. Well, I did. I got out early. Yeah, I had to do the play. Yeah. So I can't, I'm just so I it just dawned on me. I totally forgot. You're going to be the bus boy when when uh, Clemens and and Lizzie are having their first like affair lunch. Yep. And they're out in a diner eating being like, so we're going to have an affair. Well, and the whole thing's about a fucking affair. And an expert. Did you not see candy on Hulu? Uh, but he's the bus boy while they're having their weird stuff. Ryan's like, excuse me, can I I'm just going to get this. Out of the way. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Which, I feel like if you're having an affair, a busboy at the restaurant you usually meet at in secret would like be the first person that knows you're having an affair. But yeah, but what's a busboy going to say? You're going to break the story. There's no story. Oh, there's, there's a bus. Been murdered. Oh, there's yeah, a bus I should have been called to stand. There's about. a busboy co who in Collin County. <laughs> they they should have called me to stand. I should have been in the courtroom scene. Yeah. I was shocked you weren't. I thought you'd be a witness for sure. Where they're like, well, now you're on a call. Mac has it. We call Brian the busboy to the stand. Yeah. <laughs> Big dramatic entrance. Yeah, that was fun. That was fun. Yeah. And so, yeah, Love and Death was, I got to say, a little bit, a lot more fun. <laughs> it, it was more. very fun. It was very I was fun. trying to get you to come join. It was like, like there was one day where we were just driving in old 70s cars. Oh, like, yeah. Tell us about it. Highway yeah. in LaGrange. And that was just a lot of fun. It was not a sexy car. It was a 78 Fairmont or Fairview, something like that. And I mean, yeah, not sexy at all, but like just you know, driving this giant hunk of metal, you know. I would you go got to drive it like all day, sexy. didn't you? Yeah, oh, all day. And it was just, it was fun. You know, it was just fun just go looping around, you know, yeah. You got and to do some fun stuff on that show. I had to sit in the I did, I did. And, and, I did. I got survive a yeah, stunt machine. Yeah. It was fun. Just those old cars, man. They're so different. They're just, you know, it's all solid metal. It's all analog. And, you know, it's just like, well, <laughs> so the, yeah, you the steering wheels, you got to do this. It, but that was a lot of fun. And just, uh, yeah, featured as a guy eating barbecue. That was my feature. Oh! So it was my close up. Yeah. So there's a scene where I'm in Smithville and I'm just kind of, you know, I look like a sleaze bag guy and I'm yeah. eating barbecue you know, and roll. some chick walks by. Oh, yeah, I, you know, like, uh, give the chick a little look over everything. It was improv. <laughs> hey, it's very important. Zip, zip. Yeah, it was fun. Absolutely, every time. And I got to tell you, his uh, when he shows back up to Walker after doing his scene with Plymouth and, and Lizzie Olsen, I swear to God, he, like, shoved me up against the wall. Like, I fell in love, man. Yeah. I made eye contact with her, man. Oh, she's a beautiful woman. Beautiful woman. Yeah. Very, extremely intense. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I got, I got, I know you got to have more of an experience, but I got locked eyes a few times. Yeah. Hey, hey, I, I didn't get to lean over. <laughs> yes, that's, that's true. Yeah. Well, I'm right behind her. I'm right behind her. I'm busting I didn't get to get behind her. her. So, yeah. so lots of fun though. Yeah. Well, I mean, this guy's going to, he's going to go places. I've told him to his face, he's like the, our, our generation, mm. Dustin Hoffman. Oh, okay. Oh, well, funny. tell tell about the, the play you were in. Okay, so the play, not an easy role. Um, it's called uh, Leading Ladies by Ken Ludwig. I had never heard it before, but it's very much like Some Like It Hot or Tootsie kind of, sort of similar premise. Uh, Buddy and I, we're these down on our luck British actors. And you gotta be able I to do a British to accent to start with. It's okay, so all right, so I haven't done it in quite some time. So I sort of tried to do a bit of a, a little bit of a James Mason sort of. Oh yes, yes, oh my! And uh, so I'm more the plucky one, the shorter one. Me and my friend, and uh, we stumble upon some inheritance money or an ad for an inheritance. We're out of our luck. We're broke, and 
lo and behold, we discover too late that it's women. So we decide we will dress up as women. So very it's cheeky. Very bosom buddy. It's called, yeah. It's hmm? like a classier bosom buddy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. It was, yeah. As you, as yeah, you take a big one, gulp one of, of the bush yeah. beer. Like, you got no yeah. idea, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, that so sounds fun. Really cool. But it was a lot of fun. It was a very difficult process, uh, like just rehearsal. We didn't get a full rehearsal done until the last week <laughs> before, <laughs> the, before the show. But it came together really well. Um, there was, you know, some nights were better than others, but yeah, got good reviews. I got called yeah. effervescent by uh, oh. Austin Gunn, which I've never, I've never heard of him, but yeah. He's a good so, guy. Yeah. <laughs> so effervescent and yeah it was, it was a lot of fun well, you know what impressed me brian was the fact that we're on walker and i'm like hey where's craft service and you're <laughs> you're sitting over to the side like intensely learning your lines and you're like we haven't even had a rehearsal <laughs> yeah. like, at one point like read you read me you know go through my lines with me and i saw somebody walk by with a plate of something i didn't know they had put out i was like hey brian here's your script i gotta go uh, see what's up with yeah. that yeah. chicken <laughs> yeah yeah, see, but yeah, couldn't get anything in. Yeah, you, but he took it very it, seriously. It I mean, he was sweating over it. Actor. Oh yeah. Oh no, I had my script backstage every night just to like go back and glance at. That, like that I mean, like it was just I was just didn't have that confidence. But when you get on there, you know, it sort of melt away. It was it was weird. Like the best performance I did, I didn't look at the script at all. I yes. Like, yeah. Yes. So it was yeah. Just hear like that, a, kids, you hear that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, I'm not gonna lie. I did have to give some late night Facebook message uh, 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 pep talks. There were a couple times I had to be like, "Hey, you get in there." Yeah. Yes, you did. You get in there and you own that fucking theater. <laughs> yes, you did. Yeah. Well, same with you when you were doing the lure. That you were so above the moon, man. You were so happy about it. Yeah. Oh, so about it. Of course, you know. And I was so happy for you, man. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. It's it good was, to see. Good to see we're both doing some things with that. Right. Yeah, I mean, it's as you can see. I got the. I've got the out of work facial hair though right now. Right? <laughs> so I'm working on something. That's weird stuff going on here. Right here. <laughs> so yeah, I, yeah, it's a slow period right now. But. Yeah. Oh, dude. I Fred Wyman's gonna have a whole different look come season three of Walker. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. yes. uh, I guess we can't talk about the car wreck. Uh, no, <laughs> uh, we hope he's doing I guess not. Yeah, I know. No, we should. We should. We shouldn't touch that. Uh, I have a question, yes, please. Uh, that British accent accent was great. Very good. Um, we try here all the time, and we fail every day. But it reminds me: Do you ever go to the Renaissance Fair? I my first time was the last night of the play. Yes, it this year after it was after. Uh, the festivities had mostly been over, but like all the drinking was still going on, and I had my. You went to, you went to the after dark party. After I went to the after dark party. Where, oh, yeah. Go on. We've yeah. been we've yeah. been theorizing. <laughs> we'll be right back. We've been theorizing what that was like because as we're leaving at like eight p.m. seven p.m., we see these people showing up like they're doing like Cinemax medieval spectra vision <laughs> sets, <laughs> and some we hear people walking by, be like, "Yeah, you know, it gets kind of crazy after nine o'clock." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So yeah, it, it, we yeah. we also went for the first time this past year, the last day. Never been before, neither one of us. And we're like dorks. Next year, we're like we're in basically. Oh, like no. we loved yeah. it. It was the most fun people watching. But everyone stayed in character. Like oh, yes. bartenders, <laughs> the oh, uh, man. grounds crew, like the uh, AV dudes. Everyone was in character. It was too well get this so so after we get there uh, this is late and i I've got my french buddy with me and he's apparently having a tiff with his wife who's already there so and he's already drunk yeah <laughs> because of the after play parties we had a few drinks anyway we get there we don't know where the hell we are and so just walking down the trails at night it's just so funny oh asking all these no. people in character how do you get to the castle? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> you know, like, like, excuse me, like Mr. Dwarf Man, like, how do I get to the castle? Oh, well, you know, it's just funny, funny stuff there. Well, and, so we, yeah. we were so impressed with the dedication. We 
went to the jousting and like got all riled oh, up. We were just fired up. Front row, baby. Front row. <laughs> oh, that was cool. And, uh, oh, Sir okay. Christopher. Sir Christopher. Shout out to Sir Christopher. Sir Christopher. Uh, we leave the arena and we're like, we're kind of hungry. I was like, let's like share a turkey leg. Let's get into this. It's mandatory. We're going to do the turkey. We're going to do turkey leg. <laughs> so we walk up to the turkey leg cart. It's all made of wood. And the guy, there's just this one dude. And he, as we walk up, he's like, hi, you know, what can I get you? Good day. <laughs> and we got like, what, like six of us? What? There was like a crowd of six of us, but we were all just getting one turkey leg. Like, just, we just a bite. So we walk up and he starts to like greet us in character. But as he opens the top of the cooler, or not the cooler, but like the heat, whatever. The box. Y'all know. The box. Full of turkey legs. <laughs> He notices that he's running low, and so he breaks character right in front of us, gets Slams. his walkie-talkie out, and goes, running low on legs, bro. Get it. I need y'all over back up. <laughs> he's slamming. Dude, the take, I wish you'd seen the take, bro. But so he's just walking up. Running out of legs, man. I need back up. I need back up. <laughs> and then we get up to the counter. He's like, good day, good folks. Yeah. <laughs> well, great, I think yeah. you two should... Uh, start planning now and go work out there the next year y'all they but that's they a, that's a acting thing, jobs man. i think we'll have so much fun well i mean we could bartend for a week and just go good day <laughs> yeah, right. yeah yeah got a drink yeah drink your have a little drink yourself in the character there yeah dude i could not like, believe hot, hot, yes oh yes oh, i couldn't could believe the commitment to uh to being in character for the bartenders yeah well that <laughs> accent will probably get you hired on the spot you no, know, oh sure Oh, Lord, I'm British. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah, look at the fawn birds here. Get some parts for the bird. Yeah. Fucking King Ralph over here is what I'm going to go at. Oh. Uh-huh. It's a John Good movie, kids. Look it up. Look it up. Google it. Uh, no, what I wanted to ask him, what, tell us more about this after hour stuff that we were too intimidated to stick around for. Oh, okay. So they made it sound like, like just after trying, nine, get naked, leave the yeah. cape on. I was disappointed. There was very, you didn't see any of that. You heard about some of it, but I didn't see any, unfortunately. No, That's I know. Been weirdos uh, at home tonight. Thanks for now, tuning in. Yeah, no, I know. Now, okay, so after the little castle thing, we finally get to the castle and wife you know and her, her husband go off for I was a while. Huh? By the castle. The what? I was underwhelmed by the castle. Underwhelmed by the castle. Yeah, you know, it's all right. But uh what y'all seen better? I don't know what y'all yeah, talking about. Yeah, it's called Walt fucking Disney World. We've seen better. Come on. But yeah, so get to the castle. After the buddy and his wife they make up and everything like that, we go to some okay. other spot where they have a fake fire. It was okay. this orange lanterns and a fire. So it, yeah, a little underwhelming there. And, you know, just, I think we crashed up someone's party, basically. But um, there was yeah, going to be an orgy and then y'all walked up? <laughs> yeah, no, well, the, the, one, the one guy, he was in, he was in, he was a very haughty man. He was passing around um, tequila Gauntlet. and uh, whippets. <laughs> and he was staying in character. Ye old whippets. <laughs> there ye old whippets, yes, yes. <laughs> but, um. He got whisked away by like some woman in her mid sixties. Yeah, <laughs> so so someone had some hanky panky there, but it Maybe. was uh, yeah yeah the haughty guy who had to have been our age with some like yeah sixty five year old woman Woo! dressed as, like a gypsy. Yeah, she just kind of picked them up and left. Yeah, <laughs> so, so yeah she. But yeah, have she you seen did. the castle? The castle's really nice. <laughs> yeah. castle. I'll tell you what, I'll say this. We were staying outside the castle, like just sitting down, taking a break, like overwhelmed by all the character work. And uh, uh, Robin had kind of accosted me, wanted a photo with me. He, he what? He Ro the, Ro the Robin Hood, the Robin Hood of the, of the festival, the official uh -huh. who had the wedding. I mean, do we know that? I don't know. Well, why did he have the venue with the wedding if he wasn't the Robin know. Hood? I don't know. But it's he the, was like apprehensive to take a picture with Robin Hood. Robin Hood's over here have... begging me. I'm like, Robin. No. Oh. Here's the real <laughs> the Robin. Not, yeah, not for Sam. Yeah. The real <laughs> story is we're sitting by the castle. I'm a few meads deep. You're over it. You're ready to go. <laughs> he needs deep. 
and uh robin hood walks by and stands like oh man like i wish i could take a picture with it i'm like go you think these people come out here and dress up like not wanting to take pictures with people like this is what they dream about all year anyways <laughs> anyway so here's what you'll love brian is from sitting down 20 yards away i go now robin hood and he turns and like you want to get a photo of me or what <laughs> And he's like, it comes to me. Well, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> you well, well, look, well, look, I was I was informed last night Robin Hood was a fictional character. <laughs> he I I he is. I I didn't know that for sure. I, I knew I knew King Arthur was, yeah. Well, but, I know Kevin Costner's real as hell. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I, I'm not a fan. Uh, but this dude would appreciate the talk you gave me last night. Oh really? He oh this guy is this guy is the most international affairs. He's close to saying to uh, a, a young, cute ginger Henry Kissinger I've ever met. <laughs> I think that's the first time anyone's ever said that that's on right. Earth in history. We're breaking ground, people. Now we're saving lives. Um yeah, last night I don't know how we got started on it, but I pretty much broke down uh, world history from ancient Rome to the Civil War for Sam. <laughs> Okay. There was a lot of new information. So much. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. But here's the thing is, Brian would appreciate it because he could have been like tag and tear out. Yeah. And like, I've got it from here. Oh so yeah, Martin right. Luther yeah. shows up. It, interesting parameter there. The Rome to Civil War. There. What, yeah, what was, what was that? The moment and I, was I, like, think what, going. I think what started it was just like the simple question of either the spice road or no, no, slavery I spice road. no it, was, or it was it was did rome have slaves did rome have slaves i'm like interesting question i'm so glad, I'm yeah. so glad you asked yeah. <laughs> and then we just kicked it off and we went but you went there. deep yeah well you asked about the cruise uh the inquisition was what kind of kicked i like mel brooks okay yes I, I haven't seen oh my god what is it what's that movie history called? of the world I, part two history of the world yes i haven't seen that one so you know uh who is it kroll who's doing it nick kroll and who's and mulaney john mulaney but uh mel brooks is, is like it, he's producing doing it too they're doing awesome. history of the world part three so we never see one <laughs> nope yeah <laughs> Very good, yeah. Anyway, That's, who cares about this? Uh, Let's uh, well, well, I, think, I, think the, I think the point is, I think the point is, I would be very embarrassed if Brian really truly understood how stupid I was when it came to that era in history. <laughs> oh no, no, I mean, yeah, interest. It's interesting era, yeah. You know, I the Inquisition, I've know not that much about, but I've been looking up a little bit about the Crusades a little bit yeah. recently. Like, yeah, in the off so, time on set, I mean, the Crusades books. So. Yeah, <laughs> the different little orders and everything and all that. Yeah, yeah. It's... You need to know anything, especially political after 1950. This is your man. No, okay. Speaking well, there politics. you go. Oh, yes. Speaking politics, of politics, yeah, well... we have a big announcement. A big. Uh, uh, I'm, I've been dying to talk to Brian Colson about this. Two races yeah. last time. Two races last time. I'm dying to talk to him about. One okay. is a very special North Carolina congressman. You love him, not for any good reasons. <laughs> Madison Cawthorn got beat oh. in his primary. Right. Yes, I did hear about that. Yes, so long to him. Yeah. There's no photo. Where's my photo? I think the which one? I think the bra or something or yeah, him dressing as a woman was too much for the base. Maybe. Well, was yeah. it was it the, was it the lingerie or was it the guy? It was probably the, the, the hand job in the car. It was none of the outrageous things he said. It was the probably dressing as a woman was too much for his base. So yeah. Not the joke. It was, I, a, I was joke. a joke. Yeah. <laughs> I was funny. so stupid. I thought he got paralyzed in, in uh, combat. So and I was I. like, well, be easy. At first, you're like, duh, it's combat. And you find out, no, no, no. He made it back, thinking that he never saw combat. And then he gets in a car wreck drunk. Yeesh. Now, I know Yeesh. something about drunk car wrecks, okay? <laughs> yeah. My gosh. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah, well, it was, yeah, I paid a little bit. I was more interested in the Pennsylvania race. Oh, I'm not yeah, there yet. Yeah. So, so, Fetterman. So, about a week and a half ago. Walking away with it. Uh, hang yeah. on. I want to build this Rocky story up because he is fucking stone cold cross with Rocky. Uh, he, a couple weeks, oh, it was a week ago. He has a stroke. This past He's going time. so hard in his primary. He has a fucking mm -hmm. stroke. He has a stroke. Always happens to the good ones. Yeah. Yeah. Always a good one. Yeah. It's, right. it, I was reminded of the Bernie heart attack and everything. Yeah. Oh, it was just stop like, with yeah. that. You always, you always, and Bernie, I mean, we're not yeah. doing that tonight. <laughs> this is about, this is Fetterman's moment. I know. We got, we're opening up 2016. 
But no, uh, yeah. But um, he I was, I was very happy with Fetterman. And also, uh, I don't know if they've called it yet, but I think it's the 12th district in Pennsylvania, Summer Lee versus Steve Irwin in the primary. She might pull it off. She'd be yeah, the first black woman well. Congress uh, woman from Pennsylvania. And is also very, very progressive, which I like, you know, wow, very working class wow. oriented. She's a Pittsburgh, you know, girl. So yeah, she might win that one. Uh, looks like she will. Um, so happy about that yeah it was a good night for progressive populists plus yeah. Fetterman now gets to run against dr oz <laughs> mm -hmm. have they called it yet because i know uh, it's they're very close but what i heard this morning uh from steve he was kornacki that yes. fucking <laughs> sexy nerd steve kornacki oh we're getting yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> why because he's cause, <laughs> because he's so good at touching stuff is that why all the chicks like him <laughs> Right. Uh, yeah. Oh no, I I love watching him though. Yeah, Steve. No, he's a brilliant guy. Brilliant, yeah, brilliant man. And you're, you're, learn, you're so right behind him. You're on his tail. Yeah, uh, you will learn about the demographics of certain counties. You know. Yeah. Yes. Just like watching him, and you will understand politics from that perspective so well. Just watching him go over and over it. No, so. he's, he's brilliant. Uh, yeah. uh, and boy, he works a touchscreen like a motherfucker. Uh, Almost as good as Dr. Phil. Uh, we're not. Dr. Phil's not running yet. Uh, so <laughs> this happens the way Cornanke's saying it's going to happen. Uh, I refuse to sexualize the man. <laughs> uh, Dr. Fucking Oz will run yeah. against Fetterman for the yes. United States in it. Yes, I he, I didn't know who would be the easier opponent. See, like I worry Dr. Oz could pull too many suburban weirdo moms. You know, you know, there's that. On the other hand, his kookiness and I think his out of touchness with his base would be very helpful for Fetterman there. Fetterman, I think, has got a great chance. The and he is like you can question Fetterman, Fetterman at all. Fetterman, yeah. Fetterman, man. <laughs> yeah. Wait till well, they I, debate. I, I think, when when yeah, they debate, uh, Fetterman's gonna be like, grr, brr, grr. Yeah, right. yeah, the guy is, yeah, he's like I said, he's about like seven foot eight. tall. The guy's huge. Yeah. But I, I think he, yeah, I think he's got a good chance either way against Oz or the McCormick guy, because the McCormick guy could be a little too right wing, but Oz is just so kooky and weird. Right. That, and and TV, he's got name ID. Some of the best. Yeah, he's ID got ever. the name ID. You but, know, Dr. Um, Oz, you'll go bullshit for real. Who's running? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it looks good for Fetterman there. So I was really happy about that race there. Also, Fetterman will crush him. Yes, I think, think so. Me. Uh, yes, yes he will. Nerd. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Fetterman, yeah. He's oh my god. Can you imagine like him versus just standing next to any Republican there? Like, oh my god. Yeah. I just love it. Yeah. Uh, it reminds me of when Hulk beat the shit out of uh Loki. Just tossed him by the cake. <laughs> just yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, it took me a minute. I never know what Hulk you're talking about Smart in this Hulk? house. <laughs> uh, you Hulk Hogan, oh, you mean the Hulk. Comma the incredible or, or, or <laughs> doc, what was it, Dr. Hulk or uh, smart, was he Hulk, in the, smart Hulk? Dr. Hulk, smart Hulk is what he was called. I thought he had yeah. a name. I thought there was like a you're the comic book guy, you should know more than me. Well, yeah, now we have a She Hulk. Yeah, you see, like, have you seen the a she -Hulk. She Hulk? I have not. Well, you I thought watch it alone, cool. pal. Okay, very, okay, who's I the thought it was very hot? Okay, uh, but apparently, okay. the internet, what the internet say about it? The CGI was bad. What do you think about it? As one I, was, color, I like, really liked it. It's it seems fun and light, and then they the trailer was very Mark Ruffalo heavy. So it's like, don't be scared. Kind of like you know this like person, it's okay. He's not a stranger. He, so he, he, he narrates the trailer. Yeah, so I'm I'm into it, and you know I'll watch all those Marvel TV so shows. She, I'm for, really trying with Moon Knight though. I can't seem to. <laughs> I, I haven't gotten into any of the shows really yet. That's the thing. Yeah, I've I've watched every Look at my notes. Of, like you go today. to Wikipedia look, look. and my notes, the list. It says Marvel yes. movies, and Marvel underneath movies. it says Coulson said he would retire after Doctor Strange. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I said I would retire after this year. I don't. I just okay. I can't get into another ten another years. New phase. <laughs> oh, yeah, Marvel movies. I just it's, I can't. I I made sure I saw everyone in theaters of like the MCU. Well, it I went started back, so I, humble. Every huh? It started so humble with just like really, you're letting RDJ play a bad guy. I mean, a, a, a hero. <laughs> yeah. Like, right. Why you got Jeff Bridges, and next thing you know, here's thirty name brand actors walking together to go fight Josh Brolin. Yeah. 
Oh, I yeah, I was big fanboy for the first the what's your favorite? Whatever you call it. Yeah, the infinity, I guess, saga or whatever sure. the hell you call it. We'll take like, it. Judges, judges will take it. Uh what's your favorite of that whole oh. uh Thor Ragnarok was really good. Because I just I like Taika Waititi. Um I like I love this the corny 80s theme. Yeah. Um I mean, I, I have to go with that and like the first Iron Man, you uh, know. But uh, yeah, yeah, I thought yeah, that was probably my favorite. Though. Look, I'm working on my RDJ. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I wish I, I can't do a impersonation. Have you heard Jamie Foxx's impression? Oh my god, it's so good. We were Denver watching here? Jamie Foxx's. What a great segue. We were watching Jamie Foxx's impressions. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, pretty much everybody doing impressions. Drunk on Cram Norton. Yeah, that's really. really? Yeah, okay. Yeah, Ooh, he's a good over there. Actually, uh -huh. I feel like I'm on Graham Norton right now. You do? We're all very loose. Right. Well, <laughs> I'm not uncut. Sorry. <laughs> uh, but the thing, but what's your favorite of that series? Of the, the first? So, Thor Ragnarok was great. I think we just started, we just rewatched it not too long ago, and I was like, man, this is the best one. I think it's the one I saw the most recently. It's anytime. It no, 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 okay. to be my favorite. That's PC. Five years um, not going to see this. What's your favorite? I just love them all. Can't we all just love them? No, you have um, to. My <laughs> favorite. Okay. Spider Man, come on. Heart Money. My heart is with the Spider Man franchise. You like two. But when I need my mind blown, it's Infinity War it's immediately yeah. followed by Endgame. Like you got to do back to back. Uh, yeah. It's when you mentioned Iron Man, it reminded me. Last time I went out of town for the weekend, I came back and a, I was going through our recently watched, recently watched, check up on me, and I was like, Iron Man three. What is wrong with you? <laughs> what happened when I was away? Yeah, Iron Man two and three. That's the Iron Man the first one was great. I, second and third. You know, I don't know. Like Doug Pierce is being I mean, like, I get it. Did you get Did you get your phone wet? No. Why? You're did sounding you a little phone? like robotic. It's like, sound, it sounding like is. Jarvis, but not. Oh, yeah. It's, 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 it's the wind. Okay. Okay. Well, you know, you got to make sacrifices when you have a setup we'll that fucking cool. Ultron, everybody. Ultron has joined us here today. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it is. I, I, I risk doing a James Spader impression, but like, yeah, oh my gosh, yeah, James Spader's Ultron was amazing. Right. That one I was stuck with. That can't believe it. That one was probably my favorite of the big like Avengers, actually. Yeah, and we that's when you yeah. met Lizzie. Yeah. Most of America met Lizzie in that that's one. It's a met, Scarlet Witch. Uh, Clint Barton's there. Clint's there. Clint's there. Yeah, Hawkeye's there. Uh, mm -hmm. Why they killed Quicksilver so quick? I don't know. Because he's quick. Silver. Here for a quick time, not for an extra <laughs> time. What I was always blown away with, Brian, was the fact that Spader pimped out RDJ in uh, less than zero. Made him have oh sex, God. gay sex for money for him as a pimp in less than zero in 1986. You bring this movie up a lot. I never know how to appropriately react. Really? It disturbs me. <laughs> I, need to watch, I need to watch this movie. Yeah, I, I don't think I've seen this. So the whole, it's I, not, it's not really fun. Uh, is this a real movie? You're the only one that ever seems to know this until, movie. Until, until you see Artie Jan something, he's like, and that's when I got less than zero. Uh, so did something happen to you? So he died. He, he ODs at the end and dies. Andrew McCarthy's driving Spoiler. home. Spoiler. Well, fuck! It's I already well, opened been out for thirty-two. Thirty-two years. years. I just opened with James Spader rapes him. I mean, what? So I love that well, Iron Man guy. I love Iron Man got to get even with Spader by the end. Of yeah, they, they. There you go. There you go. Interesting. Okay. Like, Little Hollywood way to make that argument that I didn't know about. Yeah. There you go. Well, yeah. Well, what do you think about this trend, both of you, about where Marvel is moving to very much people of color and women? Loving it. Okay. Loving yeah, it. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. And Brian's like, again, I'm done this <laughs> year. So. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Did I'm you happy. see Doctor Strange? I have not yet. I, I just uh, No Way Home. Oh. I just finally oh, yeah. saw it. What did you think about No it Way Home? Was great. It was very good. It was very, I actually. The part with uh, him going to uh, Andrew Garfield inside. Yes, that's all I talk about. That, I actually was like, oh my God, 
poor guy. And I was like kind of ashamed of myself. So I think corny nerd. Like, how oh, bad? Did, how bad did you want to be Andrew Garfield in that movie with the uh, when he shows up in the breakfast room and then you know he's got the best role in the movie. Yeah, you're Spider Man. Well, I think that's they're. I think they already knew. Like, hey, we got to keep this guy around. So I think he'll be back. You think something. he's going to come back as Spider Man? Yeah. He had a lot of so, huh? business. He's, he's yeah. Still movie. Yeah. He did. Yeah, I think yeah he got better screen time than Tommy McGuire did. It feels oh, like. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there was a little more deepness with his character, his Spider Man, than like with Tommy McGuire. Yeah, and, and I also but, think like, Andrew got, so you know. But I think like, Andrew came off like Bill Murray. But I also think that Andrew had a thing where like he his trilogy got cut short. Yeah. So we kind of felt bad for him going into. Mm. Yeah. I feel like that is probably a big thing there. Yeah, why he got more screen time or had a little more subtext to him. You're a uh, oh, yeah. you're a you're a Tom Holland fan. Oh yeah, I love it. Love Tom Holland. He's a child. Get no, he's him. not. He does look like Eagle. Right? I checked. It's all above board. Did you <laughs> did you see uh, Uncharted? No, no, that's what Tom Holland. Yeah. Yeah. No, and, I, I did not Mark, see that one. Mark Wahlberg. Uh, we haven't seen it either. But uh, uh, what you haven't seen Doctor Strange. Not yet, no. no. No spoilers. You don't want to. You don't want to know. Anything? You can spoil a little. That's fine. I was. I was waiting for for them to do it on Disney Plus or whatever. Well, it's going to be like a year. <laughs> yeah. No. No. They'll do it like in. I don't know. Yeah, what, what? What's? What do you think the big spoilers in that movie? Um, I think the who is and who isn't in the Illuminati. Totally. totally I'm not. Okay. You know I don't spoil. Well, I'll spoil. And you he said know it's okay. You spoil. I'm not participating. But none of it, But here's the problem with the Illuminati. Scene. None of it has to do with the fucking plot. None of it. It's just yeah. like, and we stopped by and met the, the yeah. who's the band in the Muppets, and then he gave us a buzz. Electric Mayhem. Yeah, they stopped by and meet Electric Mayhem. So can you picture that? So okay. it's a cool scene, but it's very brief. Can I tell you who it is? Move on. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> no one mentions it. All right. Ever again. All right. So they walk Doctor Strange in. Uh, we're gonna have to put spoiler alert on this. That's fine. I'll put it on there. It's been out for two weeks. Get with it, MCU. Uh, I think that's the appropriate time for spoilers. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Two weeks is fine. Uh, All right. Go for it. it. Uh, I was underwhelmed. You know, I'm the rule follower around here. I know, and I've never seen a rule. I didn't break. It. I knew it was a rule. Uh, so you meet the Illuminati. You're not familiar with this, I know. You're a learned man, right. not a man okay. child. And uh, <laughs> so it's a it's a it's a council. Would you say like a board of directors mm -hmm. of like the entire multiverse? Yeah. Okay. So uh, one is uh, I want to start slow. I want to Carl Mordo, or is he kind of the the sergeant I think arms? He's on it. I think he's on it. Carl Mordo was the the black guy from Doctor Strange. Okay. Yeah. Right. 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 Uh, I know who that is, yeah. But it's not him, it's multiverse him. So then, uh, who's next without it being a huge spoiler? Uh, Black Captain Marvel. Yeah. Okay. Black woman Captain Marvel, excuse me. And isn't it the same actress that played Captain Marvel's like military buddy? Best friend from in, Captain Marvel. In, in part one, yes. And then they had um, Captain Britain. Oh yeah, oh, dude. yeah, I saw a shield. Yeah, I was wondering yeah. if that was gonna be okay. Right. Cool. So Captain Britain's really cool. Then there was a character I'd never heard of. I remember like, I looked at him in the theater. I'm like, ooh, what is this? Howard the Duck. <sighs> no, it's yeah, no, no, cool. it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. I'm sorry for upsetting you. So I know. Cool. I'm oh, always, I'm always okay. Hard. Damn. Yeah, you have me disappointed. Not, there. Yeah. Not. I feel like I let you down. You did. You did. Yes. You did. Yes. Have you seen? Have you ever seen that movie? Have I? The yes. one? Yes. Howard the Duck. Have I seen it? Yeah. He has posters of every great '80s movie in his apartment, but it's That's ducks. It. Okay, it's like the temple right. of quack for Indiana Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you've got the hair. You got the the Howard the Duck hair going on right now. <laughs> I do. So who else? Is that that Illuminati? Who's that guy? You know, you have to explain. Oh, what was the name of the actress? What was the name of the actress? So it's, the, it's the wife. From, I mean, it's the mom from uh from. <laughs> it's like. Sure. Caroline, Caroline in the City, city or something. She was in some 90s sitcom. It was like Caroline in the City or something. Yes. Shit. And uh, yeah. City. So um, Black Bolt is your thing, though. Well, I can't. But Black Bolt is your thing. thing. Okay, yeah. Do you know who Black Bolt is? Uh, no. Well, I mean, I know. Who, wait, I thought he was a DC character. No, no, no. Uh, These Black Marvel Adam, characters. maybe. Black Adam, okay. 
That's so Black Adam. That is but deceiving. I, Black Adam has a lightning bolt Black, on his yeah, shirt. Yeah, right. right. And, and Black Bolt does and have a Black little Bolt light. has a tuning fork. Yeah, I feel like they should be. Yeah. Silent, but what do I know? Oh, okay, okay. Anyways, he has to be silent or he'll kill you. And Tara's crazy. like, can't you just be Black Bolt? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I had no idea. I know what that was. Um, and then. So here we go. <laughs> uh, from the preview, you can kind of, if you were in the know, uh, Dr. Xavier does show up. Who? Dr. Oh, Dr. Professor X. Thank you, Dr. Dr. Xavier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has yeah, a PhD, yeah. I'm sure. I'm out of here. You guys wrap this yeah. shit up. Professor uh, X, yeah. I was Professor wondering. X, yeah, I'm coming right great then yet. Yeah. So he shows up, and then, like, I'm a big X Men fan. Like, that's my jam mm. growing up. I didn't get into Marvel. <laughs> oh. I really met this guy but yeah um 90s x so though just, i was just like oh my god we're doing this uh and in the last no, hey, 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 don't skip the little flavor of, of professor they played the cartoon song god you really do want to just fuck yeah like, do. he's had two weeks he's do you fucking, want us to they, act out yeah they week? yes okay ready here i go <laughs> well that was my <laughs> professor x when i'm sitting down uh, okay so they played were you familiar with the cartoon were you the 90s cartoon yes that oh my god that was the shit man they oh, play no. the fucking theme song when professor x rides out in that yellow wheelchair yeah no shit but in a very okay. like theatrical I loved that right. Danny way and then um his biggest i was like oh like, man i got a car <laughs> in the movie theater they did get john krasinski to play or not is it yeah. john krasinski to play <clears throat> mr fantastic so, Mr. Yeah, Fantastic. I wish I liked John Krasinski. I, I, I'm a big John Krasinski fan. Well, Sorry for you. Won't have to look at him for this, long yeah. in this movie. Like he minutes. won't be around for very long. Oh, so. Okay. Yeah. Right, three minutes. Yeah. Basically, Black Widow or not Black Widow. Scarlet yeah, Witch. Mixed up. We're so sorry. Scarlet Witch shows up and just like decimates everybody. Like, she lets me call her Lizzie. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Like, I'm like, Lizzie, yeah, apparently everyone called. Well, everyone called. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, she I know it's the four out of five. But that is, yeah, I got it. Yeah, you got to talk to her. Yeah, and call her Lizzie. Yeah, and then got that weird ass out hug. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. Uh, I, I gotta ask you this as an actor: What's your dream project? My dream project. Like tomorrow morning, you get the call. Oh my god! As big I, as I, can I, get. I mean, the other day we had uh, um, Mike Bone on the group, the rap group from uh, from FX's Reservation Dogs, and they insisted they wanted to be uh, somehow wrapped up with Rocket Raccoon in a Taika movie. Yeah, they were like, "We'll do Marvel. We'll we'll act that with that cool. fake raccoon." They were ready. That would be cool. That would be cool. But I, I don't know. Dream project. I'd love to do like an it's always sunny in Philadelphia kind of like, Ooh. yeah, I feel like if I occupied Charlie Day's space pretty much there. Oh, you're or, selling yourself short, pal. You're, yeah. so, you're a fucking leading man. Don't put yourself <laughs> in Charlie work. <laughs> oh, Charlie. Well, <laughs> there's no pure lead there. I mean, that's the thing. They're all kind of like the lead, aren't they? It's always sunny. You wouldn't say. I think so. I think that's like the ensemble cast vibe of like everyone gets to be the, the it's dummies. usually they pair them up some, a in story, some B story. weird way and then do an A, B, and C story. And D looks like a fucking bird. <laughs> yeah, yes, uh -huh. he does. Yeah, he does. Uh, but, but shut up. Up. Well, jump in here. Jump jump. Up. I, look, this guy, <laughs> this guy is selling himself short. This guy is a legit thespian. He knows all about the entire world. Schooled me on Russia. I was like, so what do you think Putin's going to do? Oh, man. And he was like, have a seat, young man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was listening What's to that? a Russian press conference, like, in New House. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, had, I had told him, like, there is no way he could take Ukraine. What he's going to end up doing is trying to just take the southeast. Go the whole thing. <laughs> That's what he's doing, yeah. So you but, called uh, it. You called it. Yeah, yeah. I, I knew that was what was going to come. All right, right, guys, bring out the trophy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, guess yeah, well, what? It's, it's where all the natural gas is and a lot of the old Soviet built up infrastructure. He's just going to try and Hold annex that, that basically. So, yeah. And, and so, Hunter Biden has a laptop. Mm. Hunter Biden has a laptop. Yeah. All right. What I wanted to ask you about did you Hookers see? and blow. Hookers and blow. <laughs> hey. Yeah. That's what the Democratic Party's based on, motherfucker. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> W stole that from us. Uh, aliens. 
Yeah. Can we do that sure. before we wrap up? Yeah. You set this up? Yeah. Okay, here you no, go. No, you set it up. You here always you do this. Yeah, that's what I do. He knows like a thousand times more about a topic than I do. Because I want to like, third. You do it. Well, tell him everything. I'm like, uh, go ahead, tell him, babe. So I'll tell it from my perspective. I went to work yesterday and worked okay. all day. And then towards oh. the end of my day, oh. I start getting frantic messages from my partner, Sam Slade. Uh-huh. Very like quick random sentences. Disclosure today. It's happening. It's congressional meeting. Yeah. It's happening. Someone yes. oh yes, yes. This yes, general yes. goes to Star Trek conventions. He doesn't dress up. And I'm like, he doesn't dress up though. I'm like, what is <laughs> going on? You thought it was funny, didn't you? So I come home and he's like, fuck, he's drunk at 10 a.m. Blasting on the TV, this congressional hearing inside the saddest building i've ever the seen the saddest committee hearing the saddest in the, committee in the hearing. um but it adam we said, is crying. and we watched and it happened like they showed all of the videotape the just the, the the now that's what i call a tic -tac. Classified tape feel. from the navy pilots and then oh, after sure. the video they just said okay what is this you got to tell us like we're asking and now batter up okay <laughs> uh, no, Brian, what I thought you'd be interested in, if you, first of all, I'm blown away you didn't hear that. And that's a testament to the fact he's a very informed dude. And they've like hid this. The only place we could find it was like BBC being like, look, America's finally getting it. Right. Yeah. Uh, but they asked the director of Navy intelligence, a uh, very serious older black guy, little perfect gray mustache. That's the Star Trek convention guy. Right? Yes. They, they try to joke around, Bri, by saying, uh, so we've heard you go to Star Trek conventions. And he's like, yeah, but I don't dress up. What does that have to do with this? <laughs> Trying to psych him out. Yeah. Nerd it's stuff. Awful. No, it's not going to work. All that. Can we dance with your UAPs? Uh, <laughs> so they ask him if uh, any of these UAPs have impacted the offensive or defensive capabilities of the United States military. Like, have you shut shit down? Yeah. He says, I'll talk to you about that in the five hour closed session when we're done. So oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. In there. Yeah. No, I I knew that it was happening. There was a congressional hearing about it. I just didn't expect too much to be revealed there, other than like, oh shit, there's some shit we don't know. Right. And I figured they wouldn't tell yeah, or air, you know, if there was any big thing. So but yeah, no, I I need to check out Adam Schiff crying for sure over. <laughs> over. Yeah, my God, yeah, that's something else. But yeah. you were surprised that like all the hard asses about the UFO issues were all old black guys. Yeah, who like would never have wanted to go to Not that movie just with old you. Old black guys, but like a lot of people of color were in there. Like, what the fuck, man? Yeah, wanting some answers right now. <laughs> yeah, and the white dudes were like, "So you go to conventions?" Yeah. yeah. Uh, so uh, over under smart money, heart money, Brian, are they here? Have they been here? Oh, I don't rule out all the, the possibility or whatever, but uh, like, I don't know. I, I'm not quite a believer in say, you know, have you ever heard of the Fermi paradox? No, no. please well, tell us about it. Is, like, well, there is the thing is like, if there were aliens, likely they would have already been here. Or we would have known it. So maybe they have and we would have known that. Um, I'm sure there are there they exist but uh yeah I don't, I don't know i'm just i'm definitely what i'm de what i'm definitely not a believer of with the aliens is the whole like they came down and fucked egyptians and then that's how we became <laughs> oh you know you don't buy that they had any input with the the pyramid. yeah yeah that that to me is hybrid bullshit. with the egyptians and that we right yeah from like, aliens. We're, like we're i all, know we're alien <laughs> yeah like we're, yeah, i know we're alien you know, we're all aliens <laughs> well, what's about, at the end of the day what's your like opinion? that yeah that i don't like i i that you know, I don't like know. i don't care for the stargate project <laughs> yeah thought, no 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 my thought oh, that's is a bit much. yeah yeah so well i was an anthropology major in college and everything oh, so ooh. like yeah physical Party anthropology part. so it's like like you want a missing link pick one i couldn't <laughs> yeah. you know so so to me it's like that makes plenty of sense i don't know where why aliens have to be introduced into the equation you know like uh yeah i've I studied the cultural aspect too like neolithic period it's like that all makes sense. Is well, I don't know again why aliens have to get into the equation. Oh, yeah. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. So Egyptian alien hybrid spawn, that's that's where I draw the line with aliens. That's where I draw the line. Yeah, that's where I draw <laughs> the and line. you want to be my <laughs> Egyptian <laughs> alien hybrid spawn? In here? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's I draw that line. Yeah. All right, you, you go. What's your theory here? I mean where we're at now. 
I'm on the more spiritual side of this, man. They're here. They They're it. here and they want to help us. What's the Native American take on it? Star Child. Oh. Uh, Was this, is this an X-Men? I don't know. Yeah. Native <laughs> Americans fully believe in visitors. They do. From, well, what would they know? They're just the OGs. Oh, they wouldn't they wouldn't think like oh these are extraterrestrials from another planet they interpreted it as these are spiritual gods angels. and like spiritual ancestors that are like here to guide oh, like, us. like the scene from black panther yes but it's a very well-known um theory or legend about, about star children which kind of falls into where he draws the line where you're like <laughs> cosmically related to these beings that come and like they only will appear I think he said Egyptian <laughs> yeah. Egyptian <laughs> alien yeah. right. child spawn is that what you see yeah well that, that's, that's <laughs> hybrid what, spawn what, 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 I'm sorry the crystal people kind of yeah I call yeah, them the crystal, crystal people yeah, that, that, well, yeah. hey <laughs> don't say his name three times they'll show up I just what it boils down to for me is really just Odds are oh. yes, there is life that? out there. Oh yeah, and that odds are they would have stopped by. But you know my theory: wow. we are like the rest stop on the way to Disney World, basically for these these beings. Like they, most of them probably drive by, roll, like, up, roll the windows up, and like we're not right, stopping yeah. there. There's a Bucky's. Right, so yeah, we're the, down the road. Yeah, we're, we're gonna go so down. We're there. like we're like the shitty Exxon that you. Yeah, you've yeah, we're the, the, the Waffle House of cosmic civilization. Yeah. Yes, yeah. and I Waffle. bet if they do come <laughs> and do like sexual experiments, this is like probably a sex tourism destination too. Oh man. <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're all about it. Ryan's like, I'll talk to him. I'll talk to him. <laughs> Those fucking Egyptians, man. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> fuck. What about you? I don't have one. I wear yellow underwear for five We're, fucking years of my life. You're, you're in denial. <laughs> so, you know, have I told you the yellow underwear story? No. <laughs> so, you but tell it through it. your. No, no, no. I'm tired of telling my, my vulnerabilities. You were. <laughs> Welcome to Earth. The camera just shuts off. <laughs> um, well, I'm going to tell it wrong and you're going to interrupt me. But... Well, maybe I did. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> he was terrified of aliens when he was a child. Day. Uh, was it Independence Day? And some, and some dogs. He's, some whispering, dogs he's whispering to me that dogs. it was Independence Day. So <laughs> a &E select A&E documentaries. Uh, terrified. And, 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 and once at the grocery store with mommy, and Bo. And grandmommy. You know, you say it like they're classy, like they're not like just. Yeah! And uh, he saw the National Enquirer. No, in the uh, World Weekly News. He saw it here first, folks. Yeah. World Weekly News uh, recommended wearing yellow underwear to avoid being abducted by aliens. There was four others, but I think it's him. I got. So this was a National Enquirer. No, 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 no. World Weekly News. World, World Weekly News. <laughs> World Weekly News. It's a, the, what, magazine, what the, the paper that used to do Bat Boy and Clint met with the aliens. I remember Bat Boy, yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember the so, so Bat Boy. Was well, we got yeah. him, so what, guys. So what was the <laughs> yellow underwear? What was the yellow was underwear so, supposed to do? Uh, I, I just read the, the number five, so I didn't even get to number one. It was like a countdown. Oh. So number five was wear yellow underwear. I got pulled out of line. We're going. No. I was out for the other four. I never got to one. No. So I wore a yellow underwear for a solid, what, four years? Yeah. Every day. So Independence Day frightened you. Did Jessica <laughs> Bloom's presence not like soothe you and make you feel safe? It did, but, but by the end of the day, it, Jeff Goldblum didn't prevent the crisis from happening. We still had to go through that. <laughs> and I knew my old man wasn't going to be Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum's <laughs> voice is so soothing well, and comforting. Well, right, yeah. Now here's the say, yeah, Sam, you gotta wear yellow underwear. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Yellow underwear. And you know, Save with that, with that. Save the world. Yeah. <laughs> I always Life thought. Life will find. Now that's more Shatner. Life will find yeah. a way. I always thought yeah. Pacino should have been the president. Here yeah. we are. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Sam, Sam, you gotta wear. Yellow underwear. That's it. <laughs> July 4th. That's how you're going to fuck the hell you Can y'all imagine wow, yeah. Pino giving that oh. presidential speech? So he, and and today <laughs> is all in the day. Yeah. 
Independence. Yes. Oh, my God. Welcome to Earth. Yeah. Uh, he, he does a bunch. I, you know, yeah. Kevin Spacey's shopping a movie at Cannes Film Festival. Okay, y'all. So the other day I walked in the room and he had, or he, there's two keys here. Thank Sam. you for addressing our pronouns, finally. <laughs> y'all are not a group. I will, in, y'all are individuals. Ginger white men need separated. representation just as much as anyone else. Uh, Sam had you on speakerphone and I walked through and I was like, is that a Kevin Spacey? Like, are you talking to Kevin Spacey? Are you finally the lawsuit? To Kevin Spacey right? Yeah. Oh, he's, he's, hard, he's hard to do unless you're by the microphone because you have to get real monotone. Real monotone. Your head, but you do the man as you but, start doing it. You. Yeah. That's oh, funny. I know, Sam. Uh, I know. Yeah, so you'd like me to do Kevin Spacey? Well, buckle up. <laughs> buckle up. Uh, 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 Miss Spacey, you know, Tara Brown has a podcast? <laughs> she has her own podcast. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, wow. I just been, I just keep my go to that's like easy phoning it in. Bad at my job is just going to Owen Wilson. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. wow. Right, right. Sure, sure, sure. Can you, yeah. do, Art, can you do RDJ? No, I, 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 we were telling that earlier. I wish I could. I can't do a Robert Downey Jr. I, or I haven't really tried. Yeah. So interesting. So, I can, I've never been able to get down uh, Gold Bloom. Keaton's tough. Who who do I do that you're like, okay, Keaton well, is good. tough. You, I mean, Randy Savage. Uh, a movie star. Don't pin me down that message. <laughs> Randy Savage. You do a good walk in. You do a good McConaughey. Yeah. It's a Judge McConaughey competition. Well, yeah, and you signed me up for that shit. That's right. Yeah. Um, but last, he's got a McConaughey. Yeah, last podcast I did, I called in as Matthew McConaughey, and the other hosts actually thought it was him. So, uh, so the trick is, the trick is. All right, well, that's, that's a pretty high. You don't, so you, right now, you don't want to fall into Clinton. You don't, you, you can do Clinton. It, it's you fall into Clinton easily if you, you're not careful what you're McConaughey. Look, this is what but, you're talking about right here. I right, here's the damn. What we're gonna do with the MCU? It's got right, to be magic. Yeah, Over the colors now. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love the MCU. I love yeah. what you're doing. I love what you're doing. <laughs> I try. But then, try. but then, what you don't want to do is slip into. And today, that's why we're here to make sure America <laughs> Chavez right. See? is yeah. punching yeah. star-shaped holes through the universe. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> slip into him real easy. What's so funny is I've been told many times over the years is when I'm like like three sheets. It's like, I don't know. You're just some mix of Clinton and McConaughey. I didn't even know what you're saying. Oh, like, <laughs> uh, do you, you do Vince Vaughn, don't you? Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, I do. Sam. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. oh my God. Tara. 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 So much better great, great guy. Great guy. Great guy. <laughs> well, then you do Owen and y'all just. Oh, re wow. Re wow. Re wow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, oh, God. God. We got a movie. We got a movie here. Sam. Sam. Sam, you and I. You and I, you and I, baby, you and I, baby, we're good. We have two, two of us together. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe the two of us, we started out at the MCU. Here we are. We're in hot tubs on podcasts. <laughs> we're in hot tubs. What are we we're doing? Hot tubs on podcasts, baby. Hot tubs on podcasts, baby. Here we are. Right here. Can, you, can, can you do Owen? Like I sort of try. I like my own. Like, nah, yeah, I can do the sort of the, the sort of pucker face. He sort of has the lips sort of kind of like that, but. Not really. <laughs> okay, look, here's the thing, Al. I didn't even know I was going to be in Devil of Advocate 2. You know what I mean? I don't know. Am I your son? Am I your intern? What are we doing right now? You know, I'm sorry if I never wanted to work for a law firm, corporate stuff. Yeah. You know, I want to be out there helping people. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, that's, you would be, you would be the old Wilson, yeah. I wish I didn't have Favreau's body. <laughs> John Favreau's body. Uh, uh, we joke like, around at we Way huskier. Don't challenge me. Season three. No, no. Fred Wyman's coming back. Oh, no. no. <laughs> I'll, yeah. I'll, fucking, I'll get a perm. Like, like remember that we saw the. Uh, are you Star Wars guy? Oh, yes. Oh, I was going to say, I'm super stoked about the Obi Wan yeah. series. Like, no, that, no, was, like, that one actually looks good. Yeah. That looks really good. So, Sam hasn't really seen the prequels. I saw them in theaters. And I was so, 10, 12, and disappointed. Uh, yesterday, I was like, well, let's just like watch some prequel clips of Obi Wan, just to, like get back to in the headspace. They're bad. <laughs> I mean, episode one is, you know, definitely bad. 
I, I really liked uh, Revenge of the Sith. I just felt like there was a couple things that, that kind of ruined it, like the cheesy, oh no. Oh no. Me oh, every morning when I wake up. But uh, one thing we did agree uh, on. Kind of like, eh. yeah. But I thought the movie was overall good. Like, I, I thought the more recent Star Wars made the prequels look so much better. Really? Like, Yes, yeah, so I like I like the force it. Awakens. No, I like I, I, I like force so awakens, behind you I need to get this enough of this. No, I, I totally like Force Awakens, but like this last Jedi it just felt like it wasn't Star Wars. It just felt yeah. like it was it went like that. It's just like the hologram you know, hologram loop. What the fuck is that shit? You know, like uh, yeah, I just I, I do not like that. You know. That's, I, I felt like Luke got done a little dirty there. Like I fully expected him to die by like the third episode, but it's like kill him off in the middle. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> it was just. It was just. Yeah, I was. And so when they came out with the what was it the the rise of Skywalker? Was I offer there, you a reboot. Something like that. The th- with the third one when they that came, it was too. It was it was pretty good, but it was too late. Yeah. Last Jedi had tainted. But we've so, had Harrison Ford in it again. <laughs> yeah. Harrison Ford, right? More alcohol. Oh, he does a good Harrison Ford. It's a good Harrison Ford. Uh, did you watch? <laughs> did you watch the Boba Fett Mandalorian shows as well? I I, I watched the first season of Mandalorian. Um, it's a little disappointing to hear about Gina Carano's. Who, how, her beliefs and all that stuff like oh, that. Oh, we're going to stop was, to steal Ray Mando back. She was so attractive. Yeah, she was so, like, I was, like, you know, yeah. Wait till like, you see the She-Hulk trailer. Okay, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I like a woman with that body. T- I like a, yeah. She's nine feet tall, Brian. <laughs> yeah. She's nine feet tall? Dude, the uh, end of the trailer is with my her carrying the two to her bed. Yeah, like, get it, girl. 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 So, Ada, so, yeah. so did you see uh, what was the one after uh, Bofet? Did you see Mando? That's what he just said. I, I, uh, I, I saw I saw the first season of Mandalorian, but I haven't seen the second one, really. What are we, I started what are we, it. Obi-Wan. But, Obi-Wan's coming. Obi-Wan's I'm coming. Very excited for Obi-Wan. Yeah. Oh, so good. It really yeah, does. that one looks. And great. although the prequels weren't great, or what we saw yesterday, we did they both agree great. that yeah. Ewan McGregor is in a different movie. Like he's busting his ass, acting his ass it's off. It's like Brian on Walker. And like oh. I buy, I buy his Obi Wan. I buy it. I love it. Yeah, oh, I want it. He's great. He, Ewan McGregor. I need is, it. He's a great actor in general, and he just yeah. So he, did he's in the trailer. Oh, I've seen the trailer. Yeah. Okay. How do you feel about Filoni taking all these? Loud ass, colorful character bad guys from the com- I mean, from the cartoons mm-hmm. into the movies because live action it's a very big game. We're like, yeah, paint them blue, do it CGI. Yeah, right. We're playing with fire, people. I mean, they've already been in that already. I mean, they did the the, the digital princess light. They did the three D oh. Grand Moff Tarkin guy for I think it was. Oh, that was scary. Um, Rogue, what was it called? Rogue One. One. Rogue One. So yeah, Rogue Rogue. One. I'm thinking. I get confused with the sixty Nintendo sixty four game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, he was he was totally three D, and so yeah, I mean, like I, you know, what series? Do you want to paint a guy blue? Go ahead. It, yeah, you know, I, I you know. It would be more in line with the original trilogy because you know the cheesy 70s you know oh, little looks there. It's it looks practical and it looks paint, old paint a guy blue. Yeah. yeah yeah uh to we're answer not doing, we're not doing blackface <laughs> yeah. Yeah, blue face. but i'm willing to learn blue. yeah paint and blue yeah um i think i'm looking forward blue to everyone because it's Ahsoka? like Ahsoka is cool, but she's so new to me because I didn't watch. Yeah, I, know her. I didn't watch the, the cartoons, tunes? the Filoni tunes. She's badass. Like, don't get me wrong, she's awesome. But my heart's always going to be with the original trilogy. So to bring Obi Wan back, oh, and yeah. see like a little Luke, and to oh, see yeah. Darth Vader, like that's going to pull on my heartstrings. Because I loved Mandalorian, I love Book of Boba Fett, but it's those episodes where it's like, it remember? Do right, you remember? Right. What yeah. <laughs> that's what i'm like ah, i'm like sobbing and you have to deal with that song. yeah r2 we, luke on may the 4th we actually sat down and watched all three Dude. original star wars and like it felt like no by. time had gone by like we sat all day unlike the prequels you know yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
So, yeah. It just yeah. cemented the fact that like the originals are where my heart is. So Disney keep yeah. giving oh. me that serotonin. Yeah. That's uh, what yeah. I mean. <laughs> See, that's the, yeah, you, they deviate too far away from the original trilogy. That's when they start to lose me. Yeah. And yeah, yeah that's, like, who like, are that's these what people? the last Jedi felt like for me. It's like well, what? hey, hey, oh, that's the second one, right? Yeah, yeah, that one. Second one, second one, second one. Are they that one, just, that one? It just didn't feel they like should. Star Wars at all. Yeah, that was the sad thing, you know. So, what was your biggest issue with Last Jedi? Last Jedi, well, the Luke where they kind of made him just this goofy thing, which is Mark Hamill he had his own like you know beef with the, uh, that movie because of how they made Luke's character oh, change. Stupid and old you know. and curmudgeonly, like Frank yeah, Costanza. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, and then just he, it just he wasn't done justice. It was just like he's a hologram, and then he dies from becoming a hologram for too long. Is that the red sand thing? Oh yeah, it was just yeah, just <laughs> it was you know, actually crystals no, and oh, salt, oh, 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 crystals oh, oh, and salt, oh, oh, people. <laughs> when it started out, when it started out, this is when I knew it was going to be a little. Eh, it was when they had Poe Dameron, like Oscar Isaac's character. No, I thought he'd be the hero. I thought he'd be our Han Solo and it's gonna... fighter against the whole fleet, and he's like kind of taunting him goofily and everything like that what the fuck is this you know it's like you look at say at least versus you know say what you want about the prequels but like you look at revenge of the sis in the be- the beginning of that movie the big battle scene and everything yeah that was a more believable thing and then here comes barry disney hey uh, look at me i'm an x-wing i'm gonna taunt you do to do give me a- would a- never a- act that way that Hi. was just that was just too much you know and so brian brian our our when we pitch fabro we're doing uh, who was it? That I'm dying to do. Porkins. And who else? Who's uh, uh, with the mustache? Uh, 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 Antilles. Oh, wedge Antilles. You're, so you're so you're playing you're playing Wedge Antilles. I'm playing Porkins. And Porkins and Wedge. Big. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I yeah, I, like I, I gotta say I kind of miss that mustache. I, I do no, kind of miss the mustache. Rob. Rob's yeah. playing big. No, I would love to to have like a, a X wing or yeah, Tashi Station prequel. Yeah, like, what was going on? What the there? fuck, Brian? Well, I want to hear both of you guys steer. I know we're running ahead of time, but Tashi Station, what the fuck was going on there? What which one was Tashi Station? I was gonna go to Tashi Station and pick up some power converters. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and that's where all his he said I want to see Luke Ranch. like alludes to like all his friends are off getting to join the rebellion. The past stud pilots. He has to stay Even back. Forkins got picked. And then he runs into all his old friends, like in battle. And they don't know until like red six. Yeah, it's me, Luke. What's going oh on? Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> so what was going on at Tasha Station? Was it a swingers club? Was it a bar? Was it a, a, a eatery? Like what was there that? Well, but I there's like, a story. You got to pick up some power converters. I too? like to think that, like on Tatooine, much like Footloose, dancing is forbidden, and so you go to you Tasha Station to, to dance to dance your little heart, your little space heart wow. out. Wow. Yeah, there was the the chick from. What was it called? Total Recall. Oh, was that the movie with the three yeah. boobs woman? Yeah. Here, here, let me show she you. was there. And yeah, that's what he was really wanting to. That's why he was always picking up converters. Like, oh, hey, sorry. <laughs> converters. Leela. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I need another power converter. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, for some reason. Tara in Times has uh, theorized that it might have been a, a gay sex hookup place. Could be. Power converter. <laughs> That'd be fitting. <laughs> That'd be fitting with the times, I guess. Looks like I gotta get some. Oh, I'll drop a power converter. So <laughs> both of you guys. Last question before we wrap this up. Uh, seeing your aunt and uncle charred to bones. That scene scared me when I was a kid. I, I forgot, always how, I forgot how crazy it was until uh, uh, <laughs> May the fourth, and I was I was like, really? Seeing your aunt and uncle charred to bones. Charred to bones outside the house in the front yard. Your thoughts go. Oh, Do you join yeah. just say, like, I'm down, I'll take this crazy old man to fucking whatever bar? I, I <sighs> guess I guess so. <laughs> uh, Why I, not? I told you, you're very Luke. Uh, we're just waiting to find those charred bones. Uh, <laughs> but but Luke, doesn't Luke take off and then come back after he saw him? They're like, like no, Obi-Wan they, and then was so they send him away because uh, R2-D2 ran away. Mm-hmm. So you go find Obi Wan. So yes, you gotta try down R two D two because if he loses R two D two, Uncle over. Ben will be mad because he just bought it. God and damn guess it, who's Luke. not going to Tashi Station anytime <laughs> soon? Fuck, grounded again. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so what I'm asking is, would that be enough to get you to go, old man, I will take you anywhere you want? I mean, this may be a dark take, but part of me is She's like, Empire. You're an Empire. Maybe Luke was a little relieved. Look at this. Yeah, I, I, agree. I agree. I agree. I mean, what's like he says, what the hell's there, you know? Yeah. So I just told him that he couldn't go at the Pachi station. Yeah. They were so, like, okay. next year, you can join. Next year, you can join. Wait a year. Can. You got to stay here and or, farm. Or we moisture. respect the moisture farmers of tattooing and we say, yeah, it's going to be a busy season. Well, I'm saying is he was out of there pretty quick. I didn't even see him <laughs> grabbing any of the stuff. I think he, he was took ready nothing. to He didn't take a single fucking trinket. No, he didn't. Yeah, no. that's funny. He just drove off. Uh, oh no, but but on time, this is all related. Someone was going to ask you, uh, uh, would you like to admit on our podcast how hard at the end of the day, yeah, you root for fucking the Empire? Oh, yeah. I don't know. So it's more the aesthetic, the color palette. No, it's, it's also the attitude. The attitude. I like the color, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Order. It just is so much more clean Everybody and looks sharp. good in black. Shut yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I like Vader, man. organization. I, I like, like following rules. Making, rule following. Same here. Same I like, here. It's making people follow the rules. That's why you and love And what's I like the rebellion has no cape game whatsoever. They have no cape game. Yeah. No cape game. Hey, you know, like Lando? Oh, it's a princess. But but yeah. he was originally on Darth Vader's side. No, he ended he, well, he's on he's playing everybody. Well, that sounds like a bad guy to me. You can't trust those, you know what's in Cloud City. <laughs> <laughs> City administrators. City administrators. Yeah, Lando. Oh man, I love Lando. Yeah. Now that reminds me, uh solo the movie. I didn't quite like it. So far, but I didn't ask you about what's that. it? Danny Glover's uh, Billy D. Williams was great. No, but I feel no, like no, he like kind of no, it wasn't Danny Glover <laughs> playing Billy D. Williams. Not Danny Donald Glover. Donald. 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 Yeah, Donald, Donald Glover. Childish Gambino. Yes. Dang. He yeah, his Billy D. Williams was great, but I feel like he lost the accent halfway through the movie. Yeah, and he became I feel Daniel, like it's Daniel like Glover. Yeah, it's like I felt like it's like where's the where did the accent go? Well, you know, that movie was a mess. It was supposed to be the Lego movie guys doing it, and they shot half the movie, and then the guy, the kid playing Harrison Ford was like, this sucks. I hate riffing. I'm not doing so this. They, so they bring in Ron Howard. He's just like, okay, okay, okay. Be Lando, be Lando. Yeah. That movie it's, felt like three different movies smushed also, together. Also. It was a little weird. It was like but... origin story, and then it was a heist movie with Woody Harrelson. What, train heist was Buddy Train at one point? It ended up being like a rescue the love of my life movie, but then like once he gets there, she's like, no, nah, I'm good. I'm going to do like dark side stuff. But isn't that what and broke then, his heart to not ever want to love again until I can sign that up, princess? I guess so. You would know. Maybe I would. Maybe I would. <laughs> So do you want another solo? Do you want that guy to come back? No. I would love like a, Le a Leia Han in between you mean like Jedi Han, and the, kid? the first new Star Wars. Yeah. Like raising Kylo. Yeah. Like it's a mad about you. Yeah. <laughs> but it's Han and Leia. All right. Well, We're off wrap, the rails we'll on this <laughs> Oh, all risers. Well, we all do. That's why it's the only reason we're staying alive through everything going on. Aliens, <laughs> world war, <laughs> pandemic. Can we just get some Han Solo, please? Mm, just give me something I know. Brian, if you had to uh, uh, do any other podcast tonight from a body of water, would it be Rich Eisen's or Dan Patrick's? <laughs> oh, my God. Next question. Yeah. <laughs> Correct. That's, that's a, that's a yeah. good word for well, I think uh, uh, we're going to work on something soon. You have stuff you want to plug. You want to talk about the fact that we, we got lucky enough to get a VIP tour this weekend of the, of the first Yeah, match. so let's, we'll end our segment with weekend plans, Okay. Everybody. We want to hear his too, because Lord knows he's going to be fucking covered in women just out there. <laughs> well, we'll <laughs> see, yeah. <laughs> um, but yes, the weirdos audience, we are going to the mothership. We're going to sure. Oklahoma. Going to Egypt. Going to Egypt. Yeah. Going to Egypt. <laughs> Enough with Egypt. Uh, we'll be in Oklahoma City for my niece's graduation. Shout out, Nicole. You did it. She's impressive. You little wonder. Um, and while we're there, we get to stop by the First Americans Museum. Brand new. Just opened. Just oh, the past yeah. year. 
and get a private tour. The the Brock Michelle tour. The Brock and Michelle no, Brown so Slade tour. Brown Slade. Slade Brown. We'll work on it. Uh, <laughs> so, but it's but it is it, it's some nepotism. You do you are in with the family. I mean, I don't want it on camera. Well, you told yes. uh, you told Mike Bone. <laughs> Yeah, I did tell my mom. Well, I'll say it again. I know people that work there. You're related. I know to someone it. that knows someone that knows someone. Uh, I'm sorry we didn't get to get. I don't more know in. what this is. I'm so sorry. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> I think it's just. I think it's just being around a new friend, fucking nervous. Uh, but uh, your favorite Native American tribe. Go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Um. Look, well, the codas are interesting. Yeah. Good answer. Yeah. Good answer. Yeah, yeah. Well, there isn't the Lakota. I didn't tell you what wrong the here, but they're it. relatively new, aren't they? Aren't they? Certain, are they like a kind of coalition sort of of tribe. Yeah, you you know, know, they, have a coalition. It was everyone was pushed into that region or that area. I have not heard that, but the man reads. It could track. We don't know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but cool. Also, got also got to go with the Comanches, so too. Yeah. yeah. Comanches yeah. just like Bill Russell, OG. Have you? Are you a fan <laughs> of the Predator movies? Yes, I do like those. Yeah. Did you see the preview for the prequel that's coming out called Prey? No, I have not. Okay. So Prey is a prequel to all the Predator movies, where their predators are coming to Earth when the. Co- and they're going up against the Comanche Indians. Mm-hmm. So okay. It looks very. That like, looks awesome. Okay. Uh, very very cool. Very almost apocalypse though. Yeah, but against predator. But good. But they haven't shot it quite good. <laughs> oh no! So shot they out to the really Comanche. Cool. They're about to be in the spotlight. So it's that's yeah. who they're fighting. Yeah. So Comanche. There's there's a there's a saying. Well, for Lakota to call Comanche seven minutes, <laughs> but very respected. Uh, the the book you mentioned, I heard they just made that into a movie, or they're Scorsese. making that into a movie. Oh, shit. Scorsese okay. is directing it. I, I told oh, you about okay. the I told you about it on the Walker step. But you're right. trying to tell me about some drama going on at the yeah. carnival or something. So we'll have to keep an eye out for that. It sounds yeah, amazing. Texas. Oh my god. Yeah. No, I've already got like a film owner now for that. <laughs> Good. Well, you're in a pool. We're not. It's it's. Looks a little more awkward for us if we're not in the pool. Uh, uh, Brian Colson, thank you so much for coming on. Hey, what can we plug? Where are you going to be? What can we direct people to to see you more? Oh, Walker's on tonight at 7. It's 8. I'm so okay, sorry. Uh, I am so yeah, sorry. On. There's Walker. Well, Love and Death is coming out soon. Um, there's an Oxygen Network show that hasn't Ooh, aired. You got the Oxygen um, gig. Yeah, I, I, I played a, a, played a murder. Second. <laughs> I'm excited. You and Rob about both done this. So and, uh, the women of America can hate me. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, whenever I don't know when that's gonna air, but it's called Sleeping with Death. That's the show. So okay. Okay. Yeah. So call your cousins, call your aunts. Call your aunts. <laughs> So. I'm holding out for the Gacy project on oxygen. Yeah, yeah, I've heard uh, there's, there's yeah, I'm movie? playing, yeah, I'm playing Gacy. Okay, there. So I showed up as a clown, you know, and I was doing the birthday party. Uh, God, people love it when I close shows doing John Wayne Gacy. Yeah, you go. <laughs> okay, so auction show, Love and Death. Lord knows we're all waiting for that. Uh, Mac Aston won't return my calls. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, but thanks so much for coming on, man. Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure that pool is getting a little soggy. <laughs> no, 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 it was a pleasure, man. Yeah, I've been. Yeah, I have to do this again. This is fun and Absolutely. nice to meet we you. We love to have you on again. Yeah. So yeah. He's like, I got three more podcasts tonight in this hot tub, okay? <laughs> Can't get pruny, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> he looks he looks 
fucking yoked in this fucking hot That's tub. right. Yeah, no, I yeah, it's funny. My my toes have got to be raisins, but my yeah, my yeah. And then, are... and then you see me next to him. I was like Korg. <laughs> And that's a professional, y'all. That's the pro. Hey, Brian, thanks for coming on, man. We're going to upload no? it. Thanks, <laughs> thanks for having me. Y'all have a good, good night. <laughs> good you too. I miss you. Miss you too. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Later.